Look at that, I'm already reviewing a fighting game. I wasn't planning on doing one of these for a while because I don't really play fighting games. My experience is mostly limited to Smash Brothers and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle, so I'm not really the best qualified to be talking about them. I don't really know much about balance, mechanics, anything that makes a good fighting game what it is. However, I'm gonna make an exception in this case because I have the strong feeling that this isn't a deep fighting game. A little bit of history for anyone who doesn't know. Les Miserables is a French novel written in 1862 by Victor Hugo, considered one of the greatest novels ever written. However, it's more famously known for the musical adaptation that began in France in 1980, most recently turned into a movie in 2012. The show began a run in Japan in 1987, and that's where Takase comes in. Inspired by the style, Japanese indie developer Takase began working on a game based on the story, and in 1998 he released Armjo, the Les Miserables fighting game. I'm not going to be comparing this game to the source material, there's nothing to compare, the two wildly different takes on a revolution. But I also just don't have any experience with Les Miserables, the only thing I have to give me context is Nostalgia Critic's review of the movie. I'm mostly looking at this as a standalone game, to see how well it works as a fighting game and how well its joke plays out. I've heard the people sing, this is Arm Joe. Let's get the most important thing out of the way first, this game is unstable. That's just what happens with old PC games, especially indie ones whose last update was 10 years ago with a major Windows OS upgrade happening in that time. It can work, just set compatibility to Windows 98 and have some sort of sound playing when selecting a game mode. The title screen has to announce the game if you want the game to have sound, but I didn't realize that immediately so my first recording session is silent. As such, I'm muting the audio across the board and adding the music in post, because I found the OST on YouTube. Consider yourself lucky, I could have taken the easy way out and used JoJo music. I wasn't just planning on JoJo because I love it, this whole game screams it. A common comment on videos of this game is, Les Miserables as told by Hirohiko Araki, and I thought the same thing. Takase has said in one interview that manga inspired him and listed specific examples, but Jojo was nowhere to be found and that's strange to me. Cosette's heavy attacks bring out Valjean like a stand, one of her supers has her stop time, Pon Pon is the equivalent to Soul Sacrifice and Ebony Devil, and an Enhola's super has a facsimile of Dio's Road Roller. And this game came out the same year as Jojo's Venture, probably before it. The characters are all easily described in one sentence and most of them are from the original story. Marius is a rush fighter with rapid combos, and Horas is a ranged fighter, Valjean is a balanced fighter in power and speed, Javert is a grabber, Cosette is a faster version of Valjean, Eponine is a juggler, Police is the Shota clone, Ternadir is the Ice Climbers, I already described Pon Pon, Robo Jean is the slow but powerful tank, and Judgment is as broken as they come. The game has two modes, also as basic as they come. The top option is arcade mode, fight the entire roster in succession culminating in a final battle against Judgment. One game over is all it takes before being sent back to the main menu. The second option is versus mode, even if it's an indie game before the turn of the millennium, it's a fighting game and therefore needs versus. This is also where you'll find practice mode, just select the version of Robo Jean that's named practice mode as your opponent to give both players infinite health and super meters. Despite what the key binding menus say, this game uses a 4 button control scheme, light and heavy punches and kicks, attacks are Street Fighter standard and all are listed in a convenient document. I'm just not sure if the controls are good. I already said my experience with fighting games, it's really not easy doing Street Fighter stuff on a keyboard. There's a bunch of footage of me just trying to do special moves and not working, and I can't tell if it's my fault or the games, it could be either. There is the option to use a controller, that surprised me, but don't do it. Once again, I don't know if it's the game's fault or my controllers, but movement is limited to the analog stick instead of the d-pad, and it registers them all as double taps that cause dashes everywhere. The only thing I can confirm is how the game slows down tremendously using a controller, so really, don't do it. The game looks alright when it comes to graphics, I'd say on par with PlayStation ports of Capcom fighters at the time. There's good detail on the sprites and enough frames of animation, even if some of the poses don't look right. 
The issue is inconsistency. A lot of characters are proportionally correct and drawn realistically with some anime influence, but Ternadir is exaggerated in character and I hate it. I'd complain about Ponpon, Pon, but he at least looks like the stuffed animal he is, even if it doesn't fit. Why does he exist? I think the backgrounds are just real pictures, though, and that feels cheap. Music is also... Okay, nothing compared to the commercial games at the time, but I really wasn't expecting that. None of it really sticks in my head, but it's fine listening to it. The final battle against Judgment makes the point of highlighting the song playing, which would be a cool feature if it happened in any other fight. Also, it falls flat on its face when the song didn't play. It's when it comes down to the fighting where the game really falls apart. The pace is faster than Street Fighter, but slower than Marvel vs. Capcom, and I usually don't have any problems keeping track of the fighters, but fights are unbalanced. The AI is good at this game, or I just suck. Some special moves drain health fast, and it doesn't go well with my inability to consistently do moves. The only way I got through arcade mode, not that I tried much, was with Judgment's easily spammable dropkick. You know, until the final Judgment fight beat me in the first round and the game never loaded a second round. There's no flair to anything either. It's ridiculous beyond the premise, but there's never effects or sounds to accentuate the impacts. And that's where the idea falls apart. Takase took the idea of making a fighting game based on a story about the struggles of a French Revolution, made it distinctly, stereotypically Japan, but didn't take advantage of that. He didn't give the characters superpowers, no shonen hero cliches, there isn't even a story, which would have helped if it let the game go all out with the silliness. There's a knee-jerk reaction hearing the news that this piece of realistic reading has a fighting game where one of the characters is a robot doppelganger of Valjean, but then you play the game and realize not only does it offer nothing beyond that idea, it doesn't do enough. Who is Robojean? Who created him? How did they make such an advanced robot in the early 1800s? I don't know any of it, and that feels like it ruins a lot. I appreciate the idea, but there's a reason people don't make video games out of non-fantastical books. There's no Romeo and Juliet dating sim, there's no Catcher in the Rye beat-em-up, there's no Great Gatsby platform- okay, bad example. Playing it straight results in a game no one wants to play, but parody is harder than a lot of people think, especially in a game where the game still has to be well constructed. Takase seems like a talented developer, it's a shame his efforts went to this and Dot Fighter, a game I haven't played, but appears to be a perfect prediction of the pixel indie scene ten years later. You're not losing anything by playing this, but there's nothing to be gained either, fan of the source or not. There's better ways to experience Les Miserables, there's better fighting games, there's better fan games, and there's better parody games in general. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. I'm also a part of a Let's Play channel you can check out if we ever upload, or you can look at my Twitter account where I've posted some strange things. I'm probably working on the next video now, so stay tuned.